one out of every three airline passengers in the world last year took off or landed in the Asia Pacific region. Growing middle classes and new markets are pushing industry numbers up. Last year, the number of passengers here grew 8% more than anywhere else in the world. A soaring demand for more flights means the need for more airports. Industry leaders say if governments remain focused on global standards, there's no reason why growth should come at the expense of safety. After the U.S. aviation regulator in December downgraded Thailand's safety rating, that issue is more in focus than ever. There's some wake-up calls around, around the region where, where the, the United States FAA, for example, has, has downgraded uh, the, 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 the Thailand. And there are some other countries around the region where I believe governments are now having to work to step up to the plate. Many new airlines have taken to the air. That's causing established airlines to rethink how they operate. In financial trouble, Thai Airways is in the middle of restructuring. This puts it at a disadvantage in the short term, but may make it more competitive in the longer term. While we are restructuring, which means our cost base is high, um, most of our competitor, because of the oil price, they keep dropping the price as well, right? I mean, whereas their cost base is low. The growth of the airline industry here in Asia Pacific has been so rapid over the last 10 years, there are concerns that the infrastructure is not keeping pace and that airlines are scrambling for experienced pilots and proper training. Years ago, most airline pilots came from the military. Not anymore. The training of pilots is done by airlines and flying schools. Um, and that system works well, but it does again have to keep pace with the growth in demand. Um, airlines can always find enough pilots, but they may not like what they have to pay them. That means regional shortages of pilots drive up salaries. So while the demand for these seats is increasing in Asia Pacific, there are challenges. For the airlines, the challenge is to expand carefully in this era of thinning profit margins. And for the governments to make sure that safety standards do not slide as the industry expands and demands new, busier airports. The figures show the last five years of commercial aviation have been safer than the previous five. This is a trend airlines and governments will want to maintain.